Hey guys, go ahead and push subscribe so you can support Tino and I's work together. And we like to show you everything that we're doing with these guys and have you and I learn at the same time. So right now we're working on head up and head down. Super useful exercise. Um, all the horses should know head up because what if they're trying to eat and you're trying to put their blanket on, right? Or what if they're trying to drag you around and not listening to you? Um, that's no good. Right now the plane's going overhead. Yes, I know it's, it's not scary though. I'm gonna protect you. Okay, you guys, head up and head down. This is with the halter. You start with the halter first. So we're surrounded by grass. This is his first time being on grass pretty much for the season. Um, there's not really much here. It's mostly brown and dry. So it's a good time to do head up and head down when they're not that challenged by really green grass. Um, so now, right now, he's listening to the plane. I'm gonna try to get him to connect with me a little bit. Um, and just through eye contact, even if it's for a minute, and I've got my clicker, I'm gonna click when I feel like I've gotten the most eye contact, the most good quality connection that I can get. Nice. Gotta wait till the plane goes over. I know, there's a plane, eyes. So it's really nice, head up and head down on a grassy paddock like this is a great way to um, kind of work on your connection with your horse in a natural environment. We have treats here, but you know, it's better not to have treats. Treats can introduce a lot of tension into the horse. And um, he, he's saying the grass is too brown, I'd rather have the treats. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he, we had connection for a minute, but then we lost it. And so I wanted to get it back and then reward it with the clicker. So let's try it again. Tino, head up. And you know, if you can do it without pulling on the rope, that's better. Okay, we're gonna do it again. He's looking at the neighbors. He's not looking at me. You guys just wait, don't, don't force the issue. In fact, I'll give him a little more room. neighbor so you guys whenever they're scared of something you notice it make them aware that you're aware and then just move on to what you want to do good boy eyes good down you guys don't need to use the clicker um and the thing is if they can't find good grass on their own well that's where you come in and this is all about connection right so we're going to come in and i'm going to show him oh wait you didn't see there's some really nice green grass right here. Do you want this one, Tino? Tino. Tino. Okay. He found green grass. Here you go. He doesn't care about mine. Okay, head up. And if they don't listen, gotta stomp the foot or something. They gotta listen. Okay, you guys, let's do the same thing at Liberty. Okay, so we're gonna take off the halter. By the way, you guys should be able to take the halter off, put the halter on, take the halter off, put the halter on. Who cares about the halter, right? Everybody's so like worried they can't catch their horse, but that's because the connection isn't there. Once the connection's there, you can always catch your horse. Head up. Let's go. I'm gonna have him this time take two steps with me. Tino, wait. Ah, 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 ah. And if you move your body, you're the leader. Good boy. So right there, I have two points of connection. One is that I'm gonna walk with my horse two steps or more. We'll maybe do a little few more. And the second one is I'm gonna have him do eyes and ears for me, okay? And then I don't have any food here. It's just he and I and the, and the treats. So this might seem a little bit mean to some people, like you're telling him not to eat. And I know that a lot of non-horse people say that in my comments but it's not like that he's always eating as you can see he's a fat little pony um, and so really it's about this access to safety and access to resources and 
that's how you build the connection. Um, it's the only way to build connection. So, okay, let's see if we can go head up, head up, head up. Good, head up. Good boy. do a couple of his tricks for you guys. The neighbor has a motorcycle. It's super special. Okay, so I'm gonna say, whoa, I thank you for telling me there's a motorcycle there. Thank you, Kino. And a running dog? Wow. Thank you. And in a couple of minutes we'll just bring him back and then we'll reward him for the connection. Good boy. Are you a good boy? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. I changed the rules there. Hold, hold on, head up. Let's try it again. Are you a good boy? Yes. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? I know. You are, aren't you? Yes, you are. Are you going to smile? Are you going to smile? Oh, you're so smart. And turn, so go ahead and let's let him go head down. And he's not sure if this is a safe time to eat because we have a weird thing happening. We have dogs running, motorcycles. So I'm going to stand between the motorcycle and the dog and Tino. And basically that's about telling him spatially that he's safe. So you guys, you want to be really aware of your surroundings, right? Whenever you're working with horses, what could scare them? Um, they really want to know that you're aware of things, but I don't want you to get too wrapped up and what they're afraid of. Because if you're getting all tense and they're all tense, then that's not teaching them anything, right? And we're trying to, the idea is to try to connect in safety and in a peaceful frame of mind, no tension through the shoulders, you guys, no tension at all. So now we're gonna try one more head up and head down and then just let them graze for a while. Okay, let's go, head up. Come on. Come on, little peanut. Let's go. Good boy. Oh, come on. This is a resource because it's green. Come on, let's get your mouth. Good boy, head up. Hi. And then it's really nice at the end of your training session and your training session in my opinion with this type of work should just be a few minutes every few days um, because the horse is really gonna memorize it well is just to relax together you know to to graze with your horse and to spend a lot of time basically in that peaceful you know the horse was excellent and I just want the horse to realize this is a big reward so um, they always say, a lot of the old time horse trainers, that the amount of reward should be proportional to the amount of try or the amount of pressure that you put on the horse. Um, and, you know, even though this is at liberty, this is still pressure, right? So, anyway, you guys, subscribe, share, comment, tell me what you think. I want to just tell you, though, that it's not mean. <laughs> I just, you have to realize that. Sometimes my, my videos can only be like 17 seconds, so it feels, it's not the way it really is. Really what it is, is we're all in total harmony with the horses as much as we can be. Um, and so that they relate us to safety, always. Because you really want the horse to feel safer with you than without you. That's the whole goal. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much.